Good morning, New 1%. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. And guys, I'm going to need you to punch that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a Satoshi Boomin video. Guys, we get these VChain videos daily. You don't want to miss them. Up on the screen, we have our wonderful Patreon subscribers, AJ, Brett, Garlic House, Mac Harris, Sergio, Lassie Nielsen, AmericanHomeRemedies.com, The Fernline, Jeffrey, Ethan, Maryland Crypto, Boost, Wayne, Brady Adams, Farouz, Den, Joel Jimenez, Kyle Bachi, CryptoSVET.SI, Eric Parra, Dig the Voice, and For the People. Thank you so much for your wonderful Patreon support. Got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started. Timestamps to the VChain news will be in the description below. Now, for the first story of the day, uh, before we get into the VeChain news, guys, we have some news on who is going to be named the new SEC chairman. And that person is going to be Gary Gensler. He is going to be the new SEC chairman under the Biden administration. Gary Gensler, the for former Obama era chairman of the CFTC, you guys already know how I feel about them, is reportedly uh, set to be named as the chairman of the SEC for the incoming Biden administration. Citing sources with knowledge on the process, Reuters said that the nomination will happen in the coming days. Gensler was added to Biden's transition team in November after shortly after the U.S. presidential election, as previously reported. Um, Gensler is no crypto enthusiast. However, uh, he has highlighted that the technology as one that expresses some of the underlying payment problems in the U.S. today. Gensler, a rich person, uh, he studied at MIT, a uh, school professor and former chief financial officer for the president campaign of Hillary Clinton, has commented on publicly on the dynamics of shaping the payment ecosystem today, including the emergence of projects such as Facebook-backed Libra, uh, also known now as DM. If nominated and confirmed, Gensler will take over an agency who is at the forefront of the U.S.'s government action on the crypto blockchain front. Gensler will likely play a role in any consideration of a Bitcoin ETF, given renewed efforts to lodge one of the new one in the U.S. and institutional interests such as products. And he also will be heading the um, the XRP <clears throat> lawsuit as well. So this is definitely somebody we want to keep an eye on. And, uh, you know, this will definitely be <laughs> this is going to be an interesting year, guys. Uh, this is going to be an interesting four years. Uh, and I can't wait to uh, make these videos with you and uh, weather the storm with you. So <laughs> I'm excited. On to the VeChain news, guys. Yesterday, we burned about 6 million VTHO. Nothing really to write home about. And today, we're burning a modest 4.7 7 million VTHO. Kind of a slow day. Kind of a slow news week as well. Um, but it is what it is. Taking a look at the price here. Let me just do a quick refresh. Taking a look at the price here, we're up 7.7% on the day. And guys, I'm hyper bullish on VeChain, man. I mean, we have all of our bases covered. Uh, we're in a $55 trillion industry right now. And the blockchain traceability industry is so infantile that VeChain is the first mover. Think about it like the the um, we are the Ethereum of the supply chain industry. Way when Ethereum was back in 2014, guys. So the sky is the limit with VeChain. I truly do believe that VeChain is going to create millionaires in the next 10 to 15 years. Um, even even shorter than that, depending on how much VeChain you have. Um, I'm highly bullish. And uh, I, I just, <laughs> I don't see how, you know, I, I don't see why the price is being suppressed i mean i know why i mean whales whales are gonna whale but it it just doesn't really make sense when you know we have a working product we have actual real partnerships and you know we have a such a fiery and feverish community that you know there's no way <laughs> that v chain won't explode okay now i don't believe that the alt season is over I think that we're just taking a little bit of a breather. Bitcoin is taking a little bit of breather uh, as long along with the market as a whole. 
but I truly do believe that you know V Chain will create millionaires, and and I I, I I'm gonna stand by that. Um, if V Chain accomplishes everything that it set out to accomplish, and you know we facilitate blockchain adoption through enterprise solutions, then we're gonna be set up in a good way for the future. Now, OGs, <laughs> OGs have seen this video before, but I'm going to share it because, you know, we've got a lot of new people in the crypto space. Uh, I hope you can hear it and turn it up. This is Sonny Lou explaining what blockchain is. Our favorite CEO here. Let's take a listen. Um, I have a, I have a, I have a way to describe what is blockchain. Okay, so put yourself in a very specific scenario. You want to say, I love you to some girl, but you only say, I love you to the girl alone without any witness. So that's actually a sensual system because once, once you wanted to deny what you said, nobody can endorse that, right? So if you want to say uh, to a, I love you to a girl with your friend as a witness, this we call the sensual system as a, with a backup. So if you want to lie about that, like deny what you said, you also need to convince your friend to lie with you or lie for you. So that's a central system with a backup. So if you want to say, um, I love you to a girl, but with random and multiple witness, you don't know them, but they are all listening to you, that's blockchain. So if you want to deny what you said, but all of the random people will you know, prove what you said, and you cannot deny that. So that's how blockchain works. And that is a uh, great explanation from one of the smartest people in the crypto space, Sunny Lou there. And I would agree. Blockchain technology is the future. And, um, you know, we're on the right path, guys. We're going to make it. All right. I know it seems tough out there. I know it seems like. Um, you know, we're crazy sometimes, but I truly believe we're going to make it. Shout out to V-Chain. Shout out to uh, Sunny Lou. Shout out to DMVGL. Let's move on. Shout out to Eisenreich here. We have some more EH Cert news here. EH Cert has been evaluated and recognized by medical institutions outside of Cyprus, inside and outside the European Union. I can reveal to you that we are already at an advanced stage with them to adopt the application. Guys, guys, guys. Now, I know a lot of you guys were butthurt at my video yesterday. And the only thing I can say about that is stay mad. I love you so much, but stay mad. Um, we're moving to a <laughs> we're moving to a critical point in the history of the world here, guys. Um, and I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't want to lose <laughs> any more subscribers. <laughs> Man, if you have a differing opinion, people get so butthurt. Anyway, first of all, what we would like to tell you is that the role of the eHealth Certificate Application or EH Cert in general the role of EH Cert applications is to digitize the patient's medical records with this application. Every citizen has direct access to his medical file and better understands his state of health. Also with this application, he has complete control over his medical data, i.e. with whom he can share it with for how long. This application makes full use of the capabilities of public blockchain, so there is complete confidentiality, protection, and validity of the patient's medical data. So that's the EH Cert vision okay again if you were if when we have our v chain party when v chain goes to like 18 dollars, and we are in the mountains the alps okay and we have some you know foreigners some people from shout out to shout out to my new zealand folks come on over here to america and uh you know not not the alps let's talk about i don't know Colorado, you know, come on over here, you ski, all my New Zealand people, all my Netherlands people, people the V-Chain family from around the world, come on over to Colorado, we go skiing, okay, you hit a tree, 
skiing in a different country. How are they going to get your medical records in time to save your life, to do life-saving surgery? What if you're allergic to, I don't know, Tylenol? How is the doctor going to know that without you having your medical records handy? That is the future of the world, guys. We're living in a more globalized world, okay? And with globalization, we're going to need digitization. We're going to need tracking and tracing. We're going to need cold chain. We're going to need all these things that VeChain the whole VeChain product line we're going to need, all right? That's why I'm super hyper bullish on this because people are going to be using VeChain and not even knowing it. Sunny lose true vision, and I'm super excited for it, guys. Indeed, so far, uh, we see that these private hospitals is linked the application to laboratory tests and the results of their patients, do you intend to cooperate with other medical centers outside of the GESY? Our goal is to cooperate with medical centers inside and outside of the GESY, not only for clinical laboratory tests and patient results. EHCERT aims to expand across the healthcare sector to become a bridge between patients and medical centers inside of the GESY. In this way, every citizen will have holistic access to his medical file. It is important to note that EHCERT is not intended to replace existing software systems, but to be an add-on to them. So, you know, this is going to be huge, guys. Um, I say it once, I said it once, I'm going to say it again. I need to take a sip of tea here, so I'm probably going to piss a couple of people off. Let me move the cam move the microphone a little bit here. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm not going to move the microphone. I'm just going to take a sip of tea here. Ah, ooh, those tears. Those tears, they, they fuel me. Anyway. Um, so as I was saying, guys, you know, there are pandemics literally every two years. Okay. Um, there's already a new strain of the Rona coming out. That's more mutated. They found it in, um, New York. The bubonic plague is still going on in China. Ebola hasn't gone away. So, you know, we still have a lot of a long ways to go to fully eradicate all these, uh, infectious diseases, you know, if you want to take the vaccine or not, that's your pro that's your prerogative. Uh, but you know, this is definitely going to be a solution that's going to be around for the foreseeable future. And hopefully we can start to see it migrate on over to America. If, you know, America get and China can get their head out of their asses and let actually work together and be like, the number two, they could dominate the world if they, you know, put put aside their freaking differences. I don't I don't even know why they're at odds with each other. It doesn't make sense. Uh, there's enough money and resources out here for everybody. Uh, but hopefully we can start to see some of this technology bleed on over into America. The good thing about this is this ESERT applicate this ESERT app is already being expanded throughout the European Union. So hopefully that'll give Americans or American bureaucrats more trust in the system because if they see, oh, this app is made from China, there are the red flags, not China, but a Chinese, quote unquote, Chinese company, even though they're not Chinese company, they're a Singaporean company, but you get what I'm saying. It's Chinese, Chinese affiliated or however you want to say it. Then they're gonna look at it with a scrutin with with a certain scrutiny. But hopefully, if we see it spread throughout the European Union, um, you know that might bring a bit more trust to the system, and we can start to see it in America. Definitely something to think about, guys. You know, this is this is definitely gonna be big. This is gonna be a lot bigger than I had thought it was gonna be, and you know. That's all I'm going to say for now, <laughs> for now. Um, and yeah, we're going to move on. All right, we have our trusted partner here, DMVJL. Uh, quickly, not really too much news, but they're dropping the GL. It's just going to be DMV on March 21. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. 
VimWorld. We have some VimWorld news, guys. VimWorld, I mean, people have been making a killing in the VeChain ecosystem with these little NFTs, man. NFTs are definitely going to be the next big thing, guys. All right. I'm trying to learn as much as I can about these NFTs. I actually want to create a Satoshi Boomin NFT. That would be kind of cool. Uh, but today is a long awaited day. This is the official launch day of VimWorld 2.0. Designers and engineers and everyone in the team has worked hard. The release of VimWorld 2.0 marks the beginning of our next step to conquer the entire blockchain collectibles and NFT industry. So <clears throat> let's take a look here at the new at the new and improved VimWorld. The marketplace is not up yet. I think they're still working on that, but you can see um, it's a totally different <laughs> layout here. You can feed your Vims, EHRTs. You could trade them. Vim market is launching soon. Definitely, definitely good stuff here, guys. And in order to use this, people have been asking me how to like what wallets to use for your VeChain. Um, you know, it's really simple. You could use the Sync wallet, S N Y. Oh, why? Wow, I spelled that wrong. S Y N C wallet. Matter of fact, hold on. I'm gonna uh, pull these wallets up uh, so that you can see which ones to use. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, sorry for that little delay there. Um, it looks like here we have the VeChain Thor mobile wallet here. Okay, make sure you're downloading the correct mobile wallet. There's a lot of fakes out there. I believe this is the correct one here. Um, and you can access VimWorld on here. You can access uh, different decentralized applications. Um, Vex Exchange. You can send VeChain from this wallet. I, I don't really use the mobile wallet too much. I normally use the desktop wallet. That seems to be a bit more intuitive, and I don't trust, you know, all my crypto, all my precious V chain on my, on my phone. I do believe that you can connect this to Ledger. I haven't tried it. However, I know that you can store your V chain coins on this wallet right here. This is called the Sync Wallet, guys. Just download it to your desktop here. You can hook up your Ledger. You can. You need to hook up your ledger and then on your ledger what you could do is install the vchain app on the ledger and you can send your vchain to this desktop wallet it'll be it'll be in your ledger and you can access your desktop wallet not only that guys uh you can go to vim world on here they have Vim dispensers. Every time they announce a Vim dispenser, you can claim it. You can feed your Vims through here. Um, I highly recommend the VeChain Sync wallet. A lot of people have been asking me, um, you know, what wallet they should use. This 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 wallet is pretty good. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the show. Hope it didn't piss off too many people today but that's okay that's what i'm here to do you know i love pissing off a couple of people every now and again so it's okay i still love you you know we'll still have this vj news each and every day but uh it is what it is thank you for the people dig the voice eric para crypto svt.si kyle bocci joe jimenez Farouz den brady adams boost wayne Marilyn crypto jeffrey ethan the fern line american home remedies.com lassie nielsen Sergio Mac Harris, Bread Garlic House, and AJ. Thank you so much for your wonderful Patreon support. You're the true goats. We've got 1,209 days to the next Bitcoin block having guys. And looks like the markets are taking a little chill pill here. Nothing too much really to talk about. Things are moving a bit sideways here. Ethereum is kind of just chilling. XRP is up a little bit. Uh, but other than that, nothing really too big going on. So, looks like I'm going to end it here, guys. Don't let your memes be dreams. I love you, and I will talk to you tomorrow.